Hello from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> So it is a week free of quarantine in Finland uh, since the announcements of pandemic of coronavirus. Afterwards, after <laughs> we still going strong. <laughs> <laughs> this week uh, we switched the roles with Petri. I've been going to work and Petri was staying home with Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Sebastian. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right before this whole thing started, I got a new job. We actually both did, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't start the job because of the self quarantine after the trip we had. But now I finally uh, got to the office where we had only three people because I'm a new person. I find it really hard to switch to the home office, even though it is a, it is an open possibility for me. That I feel like I need a bit of time to get into the project so I understand what I'm doing and I can do it remotely. I've been staying with Sebi at home. We've been managing at home for a few days and then at the end of the week he was finally able to go to the go to his workplace, which is in the daycare. So is it easy to be a homestay dad? It's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> So I have been a few days in the city center of Helsinki and this is how Helsinki looks like in the morning and during the day. I've been taking a bus and sometimes metro as well and uh, in both times they are quite empty, especially in the morning. You can easily have this two meter difference between the people. Like there are usually like three, five people for the whole bus or uh, mm. this metro car. So in the evening there were usually more people, but still not crowded at all yeah it's the same as when i've been driving to work that it's really empty on the roads even during the normal rush hours mm. so. so in generally people are staying at home mm. almost all the Quite time well. yeah there are a lot more people now in the forest because forest is kind of our natural like entertainment entertainment <laughs> like even before this whole thing happened now we see more families in the forest than usual because there is no many more things to do and if you have a family with the small kids you need to take them outside to bend them a bit otherwise they just getting insane at home a bit and they need to move their body and especially the national parks around the capital area they're really getting also crowded mm -hmm. sometimes because it, they're really popular when there is a good weather on the weekend like everyone goes there that's what you do now you go to the forest so uh, we went for a, a small hike, just a few kilometers hike in a forest to the lake, just to vent out as a family. <laughs> and enjoy the sunny weather because yeah. it was really nice. Hard 
So during the week we just live like everyday life trying to uh, go for a forest walk and just get a bit of fresh air and try to stay positive and accept things as they are but usually on the weekend we try to plan something nice like mm -hmm. so that's something to look forward to like for the family occasion is we usually go for the walk in the forest all together we like to see some new trail and uh, have some mini picnic maybe mm -hmm. somewhere with the thermos with the tea and a few sandwiches so that makes it fun and exciting to go all together if Sibi can find the stick along the road he is really happy and content with that for us together looking forward to the weekend that we can watch maybe new episode of this Casa de Papel this <laughs> <laughs> finally new yeah. season is out on Netflix if you still haven't seen this TV show just watch it that's it's the really time awesome. to binge <laughs> because now the latest season is is there so something to look forward as well and enjoy this period of our life mm. it's not easy no it's not so this is how week free in quarantine looks like i think this is about a free week <laughs> beard yeah pretty much <laughs> so Save. i don't know like is he gonna keep it up so like by the end when it's all over he is like this yeah. <laughs> little santa <laughs> i hope it's not over by next christmas <laughs> Yeah, but, but then you have a Santa Claus ready. Like you exactly. know, no need to hire one, aren't you? Exactly. So next week comes Sebi's third birthday and we are planning a huge party. We're gonna have lots of guests and all of them are gonna be his stuffed animals. <laughs> so of course none of his daycare friends come in, none of our friends are coming. Grandparents cannot come and they are not recommended to come and generally be in contact with the older people and uh, all the roads are closed to the capital area so nobody can come and shouldn't come to visit obviously so that's going to be a really fun birthday we're going to film it all so tune in to the next weekend see what kind of cake we're going to make for Sebi and how we're going to celebrate his third birthday I hope he likes it <laughs> for sure I think as long as he has a cake he's going to be yeah, really he's happy. Be happy now Sebi is sedated with the uh, cartoons for a little while while we can finish this video mm -hmm. <laughs> otherwise it was impossible to even try to speak if you have kids at home and you're working from home let us know how you manage thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and see you next time bye <laughs>